Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. <laughs> Someone had to do it. Might as well have been Chuck. <laughs> <coughs> no, seriously, what Chuck is doing, my baking soda and uh, epoxy mix that I put in that, along that seam in my pastry bag. That's what Chuck is doing. But we got this thing all bolted and clamped together, and it's coming out really good. We don't have much of a seam there. I mean, it's it's really close, but I still like cooking that baking soda on the edge. That way I won't have no voids in there, but she's looking good. A couple places. Here's a helpful hint here, guys. When I was popping, the, when I was cleaning up these edges, you know, got a lot of places... It's, uh, my fiberglass started popping off my, you know, my fuselage, my actual fuselage started popping off my mold. And, uh, I was wondering what I was going to do. I was thinking about going buying some big magnets and sticking them on here to kind of hold it up there because we want that all tight when we're gluing that together. And I was talking to my buddy Butch and he said, shoot, just put some double face tape in there. So I cut some little strips of double face tape and, uh, put them in there. It's working beautiful. And, uh. It shouldn't help stick it. I think pretty much all these pieces are just laying in there. And that's kind of also why I like to use my, my thicker mix on them seams. That way when we're brushing that tape on there, we just ain't pumping resin in that crack. It'll just be a little bit. And that'll that'll help it pop off easier. But uh, we're trucking right along. I don't know how good you can see in there, but that gear's in there. We got that bulkhead glued real good along that edge and uh, we're trucking right along but I just wanted to show you how we're getting this taken care of that plane done eight but eight chuck <laughs> but he fits right in there man I don't know I got I'm wearing this shirt with this big old lump in it and uh, I don't think it'd fit but that's what we got going on people and I just wanted to give you a heads up and we'll see you back here in a little bit.